So your name is not Lucia? No. <laughs> But um, people get confused by the name of the clinic? Uh, yes, uh, people are very confused about the name of the clinic because uh, they think this is some family, family name. But uh, when I named the clinic, in my mind it was um, Latin language because medicine is, uh, mother of the medicine is Latin language. In uh, Latin language, Lucia, Luce, doesn't mean light. And me, it was association from the history of the medicine with the new technology. Today, as dermatologists, I use a lot of lights, like laser light, infrared light, LED light. And it was kind of symbolism between the history and the new technology. And for me, uh, Lucia is uh, my light light in the city of the light as Dubai and it was my light in the, my journey mm. and up today I like uh, my patient they say in different uh, uh, dialect like Lucia, Lucia, Lucia everything mm -hmm. is uh, nice and I like and I can accept any any word yes your name is Radmila I'm spelling it right or yes <laughs> Dr. Rudmila thanks for coming to my podcast it's a nice name to have uh, Lucia I mean it has a light as like also it's something that we um, like we have a target we have a dream and it's, uh, it's at the end of the tunnel we always see the light <laughs> sure and when I wanted to name the clinic I had no much time I had really I've been some kind of in the rush to go do an economical department. I did it myself. And I seen the many clinics in Dubai had some names like International, Canadian, American, Harley Street Clinic, uh, Champs-Élysées, Spanish. And I wanted to name something unique, something born in Dubai. And mm. Lucia is born in Dubai. This is our brand. Why you didn't have much time? Why you were <laughs> in a hurry? Yeah, the story is a little bit long mm. and I was um, actually in the point that I was alone uh, preparing the papers for the clinic to be registered and I had no PRO, I had no one to help me in this time and I had only one week to start uh, Uh, or to prepare everything accordingly Dubai Health Authority uh, by uh, to prepare the layout and to burn the Lucia clinic and to change the one property what was commercial to commercial from the residential. I did it a very mm. long journey to do everything myself and in my way to the economical department I deeply was thinking from my heart how I like to name the clinic. Yes. You remember these days uh, very well? Uh, every day I remember those days because the clinic is born by myself. And this is like my baby, my project and my dream. And every day I'm in the clinic, I have my dream again. Yes, I think, um, I mean, I, I what you said is just like relates to me a lot because I remember also opening my company. It's the same thing. I mean, the hard work that we put at the beginning and the passion. Have you ever thought that you're gonna grow as big as that when you started? Uh, not really. I had. I am always modest. I was mm. very modest in my dreams. I, I just w wanted to open the place to depend truly from me and to be no limited to provide the services and uh, to implement my knowledge in my way how I see myself as a doctor, especially a dermatologist working in Dubai, providing also aesthetical service. Then that was my dream to have no limitation because working for the another clinics I've been in Dubai, aesthetic medicine sometimes has a commercial impact behind mm. and working for the others you are limited also for this kind of uh, reason and my I truly in my heart and up today I'm doctor first and I like always to work for myself and for my patients like uh, this is me and I'm in the shoes of my patients then when you work for yourself then you have no limitation to express who you are yes but what was the main drive other than the you know other than this is your field and you think you want to grow a uh, like you want to grow a business but is there was a personal drive that you felt you know i want to i want to have my empire i want to have my business and this is a goal what was the main drive personally 
Um, it was a challenge. Mm. And I didn't even think to come and to work in Dubai and UAE. Uh, following my uh, ambitions, I, I was uh, lecturing in the Europe and the world. I was very known doctor in you know, Serbia, where I'm coming from, in Belgrade, and I was working in university hospital. And I've been invited to do one lecture uh, with the new technology in Dubai. And I did a lecture. I've been first time in UAE. I like the city. I've been impressed about the light again, <laughs> city of the lights. And the same time was um, the national day, very nearby the dates I've been here. I went to see the expo of the um, uh, history because I like history. I went to see the history of the country. And when I seen the power of about the history behind country, how the country grew up for the very short period of time, mm -hmm. I've been very inspired that this is the place to be. It is the place you can build your future. It is the place that you can really feel the future is coming faster than the place I've been practicing before. The other challenge I felt um, for myself as dermatologist, my, um, uh, let's say, my professional challenge was that in Dubai you have ethnicity and nationality from all mm. over the world. Working here and seeing the different type of the skin, working with the people from the different culture, religion, and having them, having the small world every day in your office is a very big privilege for a doctor. And that was uh, one of my motivation mm. to try opportunity to start and to work here as a doctor. And this time I had no idea about the business and what is the behind, you know, the the scene of the uh, working as a dermatologist or aesthetic practitioner in Dubai. And I started to work for the clinic when I got offers. I, I, when I, I, after I did the lectures, I got so many offers. And of course, it was very attractive to come and to work in Dubai in this time. Yes, you had it. Um, you, you felt like as a woman, you had a challenge and something to prove as well for yourself. And this is a dream that you want to, uh, you know, to fulfill and to to have it happen. Was it more personal as a, as a woman that to to become successful and to challenge yourself? Definitely. I first my challenge was how to prove my uh, legal lance, uh, license and my legal paper papers in the country mm -hmm. because I had um, I came from the country that uh, I when I entered in the country I had the passport was Yugoslavia and by night our country unfortunately disappeared we separated to the six countries and my new country which I come from was uh, Serbia and when I went to our authority, to buy health authority, they had no any category for my country as Serbia. It is very strange feeling. You come from Europe and you are very powerful in your knowledge and I'm specialist dermatologist and they know they know don't know who you are. And when I went to the that was my first meeting with the government institution and I didn't know what to expect. But when I went there, when I showed to them that I really would like to practice as a, my specialty, as a specialist and who I am. And as you said, as a woman and I've been there and the people who have been there is Emirati and they really respected me very well. My first um, uh, contact with them was very positive. They invited the head of the office because they didn't know how to sort my problem. And when the head came, he was very kind. But he kindly told me that I have to go back and to come after six months, then they will find maybe solution because they have no in computer where I am, how to judge my degree. And uh, I was very brave and this was my uh, one of the, um, I think, decision, um, big decision in my life. I told him I really like to stay and if you give me a chance to prove myself, I can prove myself in any exam and any any kind of the examination or work. He said we didn't have any kind of the this kind of situation, but he checked all my papers, what I provided. He'd been impressed. I was always a brilliant student. I had my master's degree. I was very good in my work and I had all proofs, all, all degree with me. And he said in Dubai we like to have professional doctors, we are looking for their profiles as yours. We will do exceptional something, we will 
organize the panel, come for the panel. Oh, do you want to come after six months? I said, I want to come tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, and, and they helped me. I really appreciate this. My life changed because of this day. I, they organized the panel within a couple of days. I proved myself after doing the very difficult exam. The exam was not easy. It was like poor, self, uh, full self specialty degree uh, exam from the beginning. And I got opportunity to work as a specialist in Dubai. For me, was something I achieve again, you know, some opportunity to prove myself. This is how my journey started then. I started to work in Dubai. And as a woman and working alone, uh, it is always a challenge because you have to think uh, about uh, it's a new culture, new mm. people, and uh, new law. And I was very, um, uh, I had a lot of inspiration working and uh, traveling abroad, doing the lectures and doing the, my conferences. And working here was really pleasure. My pleasure was uh, seeing the patients. This was my goal, to see the patients from different parts of the world. And that's amazing. That's very inspiring, actually, to hear the story, you know. And uh, you had to really, again, put the papers together, every all the education and, and start from zero just because what happened in the difficulties in your country. I mean, that's very inspirational. And saying that Dubai really is a is a big, uh, it's a land of opportunity and just really they don't go by the by the book. They, they like to go, you know, um, with creativity and open opportunity for a lot of people. And that's that's really nice. I mean, they saw they saw the 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 talent that you have and and they were open to you know uh, give everyone uh, like a, a chance sure and i had this chance and i wanted to do when i had the, my chance and when i started to i seen dubai is a place that you have to prove yourself mm -hmm. in, the, in the best you have to find what is the best of yourself and i was motivated to even to more to invest on myself on my education because as I mentioned, I had a patient from everywhere in the world. Mm. I started to travel for educational reason. I went to many times to US, even to Hong Kong, uh, South Africa, uh, everywhere in Europe, trying to learn from the best masters. Because I've always been a good student. I wanted to learn the best and to bring the latest knowledge in the country. And But as I mentioned, sometimes you cannot express yourself and you work uh, below some name of the for someone and for mm -hmm. some clinics, uh, proving myself doing the lectures abroad as uh, presenting UAE. I got also opportunity in our country to work for the other clinics to present and to uh, use new technology. And this how maybe you will be interested to know how my idea about opening my business has been born. I work in the one where I got opportunity to work in one of the clinic in Dubai and because uh, one of the company from US because of my outstanding results what I been provided in the conferences I did uh, I used the new technology for the non surgical facelift mm -hmm. and uh, they desperately wanted me to use even upgraded in the new new machines they provided to the center I started to work there completely for free to devices. I started to work there as uh, always I've been teach from my early age from my father's side. I have to work always hard and to work for everyone as it, it's mine. I was working hard as it's mine. I was really impressed that I got the latest technology in my hands, the latest lasers. And um, after three months I realized that I was uh, not appreciated by my mm. honorer. I was not paid. I was very shy even to ask. I went to ask the counter, then he said we have to ask the owner how I will be paid. In the end, uh, I got answered that uh, my honorar that will be agreed will be more than half of the less I less than half what we've been agreed. And in that moment, you need it, you need, you need to life, to have nice life in Dubai. You need to pay your, your expenses as a doctor. You, and you need I to be modest, appreciated. You need to be appreciated mm -hmm. because I brought the half million of the value to this uh, clinic. And, um, and when I ask why, I, I was thinking what I did wrong, why I'm not appreciated. 
And the one of the answer was, but anyhow, you will work for someone. You will never be able to open your own clinic. And this is our condition for the for you, doctor. Now, this is what we are going to pay you. It's not about payment. It's about proud. You know, all mm. the life I was working hard. I was a good student. And I, I proved myself. And I was happy that I contributed to this center. And this moment, I left. I didn't take any honor. I said, I'm gifting you everything. Of course, I needed money. And I left with the... Uh, idea which was born I really would like to prove myself why they are better than me why I don't have my clinic or my place in Jumeirah there is for sure space for me and I, I really would like to to be somewhere here and to prove myself alone and this is how the idea was born and I was thinking how to do it alone it was a very difficult <laughs> decision yeah and I and, and I heard you uh, you did it also without investor we did it by yourself which is also amazing you know it's just it's a big business to open and to take that big step from just uh, immediately being employed and to to move to a a big yeah, clinic was, and uh, it's not an easy decision it's a especially very hard you were decision. you were alone as i heard at that yeah. time it was very hard decision actually uh, i was looking for the opportunity how i can uh, open my own practice and the opportunity came to my uh, clinic, the clinic where I was working, the other one that I still had mm -hmm. it. And um, uh, there was an um, offer to join with the person who had a beauty salon, a beauty center, to upgrade like medical spa with my license and the person did it, my license, the owner, she was already my patient, she was impressed on my result. And we decided to open medical spa and order that we will do the very commercially hair removal. Mm -hmm. And then she will she will have the part of the clinic to to manage her beauty center. And I will have one one uh, one office for myself, for mm -hmm. my patient. And I accepted to do this joint in venture. We did it everything. The papers been done. And I, my go, my uh, my aim and my part of this deal was to rent facility. I find the facility which I liked a lot, uh, the very small and modest villa in Jumira, but they had the natural tree in the garden and uh, it was available. It was a very you know convenient price, and I did it my part to contribute to this merch. And when we did everything and we legalized and the procedure was done, uh, the husband of the person appeared. He was uh, very strong and in conversation he had. He told me, yeah, I met him for the first time and he told me, I'm uh, the businessman and what you did with my wife is not going through. Uh, you are just doctor. I will teach you how to do the business. You don't know anything about business. You have to work for my wife, not to be like partners. And for me, it was really enough. And I looked at him, I looked at the new contract, and I told him I, I really had a lot of books in my life. I don't have time to read this book, and the knowledge and education should be appreciated, and I don't want to spend time in this in, uh, in this uh, new merch and new co new conditions, let's you know uh, break everything. I went and uh, to the authority and I cancel everything. I went to a lawyer to return back the property was was under my name. I rented the place, the new place for this medical spa, but uh, the lawyer told me that uh, I, that was impossible to return. The contract was that strong that I got mm. the property and I couldn't return it back. And the lawyer told me, now you have the challenge. You find a new investor or you do yourself. And I couldn't sleep for a couple of days, on almost one week, because she said you have to know and to react quickly because the time is passing. It is not in your favor. And I looked in my bank account in this time and I was thinking, oh, this is all I have. Is it, is it really enough? Could I do something? And I started to do project alone. I started to calculate how much will cost me some kind of the, or some um, uh, maintenance of the place, uh, contractors, legalization. And in this time I had no PRO. I went alone to our authority, to municipality. 
I asked for the license, I asked for the approvals, and I started to do all full legalization myself. And it was very, very challenging and was something new for me. I, I didn't know how this authority uh, function and what is going on behind the legalization of the one clinic. And going and asking for the help, I can tell you I, was, uh, I got the positive win. That was the win that pushed me. And I, I can say I've been blessed from our government institution to do and to open my clinic because they help me a lot. When you're honest and you ask for help, mm. uh, the doors are open for you. And I was going along to economical department, to Dubai Health Authority, many times spending a lot of hours there, pre you know, preparing the paperwork. It is also uh, time consuming. In the same time, I was preparing hard how to you know, organize department. And sometimes when you, know, you feel that you don't have the, the power and the energy, but when you work for yourself and you invest your time and your, your health, your knowledge and your, your money and everything you have, then you can feel the power is there. You have the power. You really can do alone everything. And you was not aware how strong you are. This is what I find about myself. And when the clinic is born, when I finish everything, when I open with uh, one nurse and myself, and when the person, my first, first patient came, and I had money only to offer one botox. <laughs> I got it almost zero. I bought the bottle of the botox from the supplier. Supplier didn't even want to open the account for me because I was small. and. So open the accounts for the suppliers, you have to be big, you have to have the guarantee in the accounts and mounts. It was very challenging, I, I remember this time. But uh, when the first patient came, she asked me, doctor, is it your home? Because I had the wood door <laughs> and I was thinking, oh, what I will do? And first my investment was in the door. I, I learned from my patient what, how I can build the clinic not only uh, as a doctor, also in the environment. And everything what I did, I did by myself. And my all uh, investment from one Botox, of course, I did it three. And then for my dermatology consultations, and I reached point of 100,000 dirhams, and I was feeling, oh, my God, I'm so happy. This, I prove myself, I can do it. And this is how the clinic was born. <laughs> That's very inspirational, really. You know, you said something like when you are working hard, but it's for yourself and you believe in yourself, you don't get tired. And this is something that always, you know, makes you going and you because you love it. Yeah, I, I can tell you, really, uh, I used to come, uh, I used to go in the morning as a doctor, uh, being strong and my work and my knowledge and my uh, uh, services and my result and uh, but in the same time, I used to work as a nurse, as a receptionist sometimes, uh, leaving clinic uh, late in the evening, almost like as a cleaner, being sure that tomorrow everything will be ready and accordingly, you know, the regularity in the, in the country that everything you can be uh, really ready for any inspectors, anything that you can feel and you can come and the authority can check you and you can always be proud that you did everywhere through to the you know law in the country mm. this is very big things you can of sleep, course you can sleep uh, really well that's very inspirational tell me more about uh, uh, tell me about your childhood because because uh, that drive that you have and that strength that you have and the will and and all the dreams that you have achieved must be something in your childhood that makes you get inspired and and you know willing to also say no to the people who doesn't appreciate your work and do it yourself? I always was a sporty person. For me, sport is uh, uh, my, my work and my life is like sport. You have the challenge always and you have to. And I'm, I, I like solo sport. And always uh, when you lose something, you know that you have to challenge yourself to be better for the next time. And I was very good swimmer and I like to swim. It's like solo sport. And also, I like to be winner. But uh, I also lo I learn from the sportist. As a Serbian, I can say I learn a lot from our 
big uh, ambassador Novak Djokovic mm-hmm. he always served to win you have to know when you lose something how to you know how to uh, challenge yourself to be better for the next game this is what i find uh, from my childhood up to today i'm always strong at, uh, at, at work and I, when i go in the clinic when i open my door i really like to serve to win i like to every day to have the uh, good vibe around me and i like the, my patient to feel that this is like um, um, an impression and they will feel that doctor who they have in front of them is keen what i'm showing to them by myself and what i'm uh, what i recommend to them i'm also this is my lifestyle i'm keen to practice and i i really uh, like to be myself every day and i'm very honest to bottom of my heart this what i find that is was a very big uh, help at my work because my word of my mouth and uh, my mm. patient actually they built it my success and my clinic behind me they are all of them because one patient was sending you two or three and um, that today we have the social media but when i opened my clinic i did it with no any support of any digital marketing social media influencers i did just purely word of mouth mm. and i've been teaching them from the my professors since childhood and my professors in the a university that um, uh, experience with the doctor when the patient come to you they have to always be impressed and to have the good feeling and good impression when they leave you and you have to give to them the best of yourself and this is how i work and this is how my team works and we have the same spirit up to today i never change myself and you have to really be always in shoes of your patient listen to them and love them and empathy is very important whatever you do even you do the botox but you have to love your patient and you have to always care first about health issue and and uh, and to share with them something from best that they can have the uh, home message from you definitely i mean you're saying like you invest in values which is which is something that we have to plan for the future it's just like don't seek like a quick uh, return or quick uh, you know um, success you just like really invest and keep because word of mouth is like when when someone says good thing about you and then you wish for the future that it will you know well, whatever you have given as a value not only a service but just a value that that person is he is taking something that uh, he feel like it's been appreciated or is feel like he took a good service and uh, you don't want anything in return at the meantime you just look at the big pictures in the future and just like you just want to do it for the future sure and uh, most of the my patient as you can say uh, patient 001 patient 002 7 10 they are still my patient they are more than patient they are my friends they are my family we we spend our clinic is uh, 12 years and we spend a very good time together mm-hmm. we build it together and and they know my journey and they know that my ambitions took me to everywhere in the world presenting UAE now in the conferences that and uh, uh, where I was before uh, even um, uh, just you know delegate uh, now I'm uh, in the scientific panel I am the person who is in judgment for the new technology and they they trust me blindly that I will always bring the latest the most safest technology in the country because the the companies they recognize this my talent and this my ambitions and this my scientific uh, science which i like behind the new technology and i find dubai is a ideal place for that and uh, nowadays uh, and i can say uh, the technology we have in a uh, very powerful in our hands and when you have the patients in front of you you can do amazing things and especially that the latest trends are now healthy skin for me as a dermatologist you always think about first about health about the healthy skin and you work more as educator sometimes mm-hmm. i spend more times to 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 educate my patients especially a new generation generation z when they come to you and they want everything by night they want the results by night they want to look like the some known influencers you have to really like them and you have to explain to them that uh, 
that is a very important thing they have to know when to, when you enter in the world of aesthetic you have to know first vocabulary you have to be familiar with technology then you have to choose the right doctor and you have to learn and to, to go step by step this is like journey and um, this is what i like about my challenge and my work and we have the, a lot of opportunity in Dubai and mm -hmm. I'm very happy and pleased that the clinic after 12 years has been recognized uh, all over the world and my Lucia become like international brand. Yeah, and um, you have uh, like, uh, it's like a magnet also for, for celebrities and I've seen a lot of celebrities come to your uh, your clinic, which is uh, which is something amazing and a challenge also because their their demand or maybe expectation is very high, but they are actually trusting this place and love your work. Um, is it hard to work with the celebrities? It is. Uh, it is not easy, and but is really uh, the most beautiful part I can say because mm -hmm. from why is beautiful because you can see. They are normal people. They are like uh, your your uh, idol is beauty is in your hands, and you have to you have now to take care of the most beautiful like Miss Universum. I had it one of them in my Miss hands. Universe. We had it in the clinic. I can disclose some of them. Yes. And the one whom I uh, I can say I was really blessed is uh, Naomi Campbell. One day I received a phone call from Naomi, and she said. Uh, Dr. Admila, I got three recommendations to come to be treated in your clinic when I'm in Dubai. Can you please book me tomorrow morning at 9.30? And I was thinking, oh my God, <laughs> <laughs> is it Naomi Naomi? And I, she was always my top, top fashion model in the world. And I was always dreaming to be able to have this kind of the people in my, you know, bed and, uh, and as, uh, you know, to take care about this kind of the beauty. And when she came the first time and uh, we, uh, until we, we know better, I can say it's a challenge because, uh, you know, celebrity, they have own world and they are very appreciated for everyone. And I'm, I treat celebrity in the same way I treat all my patients. I, I don't do anything different. But to be honest with you, I find that she been very pleased. She liked me <laughs> and she posted alone. And this I can disclose that she was in the clinic because even she surprised me. She posted that she was in the clinic. She was with me unexpectedly. Even I did not know that it, this post was in her social media. And I got uh, many phone calls. And guess what they asked me? They asked me, how much did you pay Naomi Campbell? <laughs> <laughs> and, and my my answer was, I was thinking, what do you think about it? Mm. I'm paying for that. Then again, I was thinking, yes, but I paid. How much I paid? There is no value for that. I paid for all my years working hard. There is any value for that. There is no value. It's a very high price to pay to get those kind of celebrity. Like Naomi Campbell, I can mention some of them, like Eva Longoria. I, be, I had a very special relation with Eva Longoria. She's a big founder of the uh, charity events, uh, Global Gift Gala, and having this icon on beauty also with this kind of big contribution for the charity in the world is really to be, I'm very honored to have her in the clinic and I can openly talk about that she really likes to come in Dubai, visit us, and I, I'm very proud that now uh, in Dubai we can host a celebrity, Hollywood celebrity, even Lindsay Lohan, I can mm -hmm. uh, name also some few of them and Bollywood celebrity and we have the uh, world known uh, people from the world of the sports from the all many people known for the different type of the business and people from all over the world been known How about in Dubai they Arab like celebrities I, uh, I'm shy to tell you that I had one <laughs> of the biggest icon in my hands and I didn't even know who is she. She's very special. I always say the biggest people are very modest people and they mm. are very simple. And one of them, she came to me and I did the treatment and after I did everything and I finished, I know her name because she was as a registered a patient. We discussed everything. In the end, she asked me very, very <laughs> like shy. She asked me, doctor, do you know who I am? I'm... Yustra. I said, oh, okay. Yustra? <laughs> and 
oh my god, they, she told me, and I understood, she's like Sophia Loren of the Arabic world. Same, I had similar story with Latifa, she put, you know, she said, but do you know my songs? I said, oh yes, I know your song. Yes, I had, I have also Arabic celebrity, but most of them, they don't, uh, they don't like to disclose this. The, yes, of course. <laughs> I mean, been in the yeah, who is I can the... only say some of them. Okay, them. who's more difficult to work with, uh, Arab celebrities or international celebrities? I cannot say they're difficult to work because or they more are demanding, very, let's say. Uh, demanding definitely from our area. They okay. are they're more demanding because we have very high standard of the beauty. The celebrity or international celebrity, they they have a different type of the I can say the different approach to the beauty. Mm. Then you have to know exactly you have to know what you have to listen to them, what they would like to achieve because they are limited to be done for, for talking about enhancement of beauty they have to really be always uh, they have to maintain they more do man maintenance mm -hmm. they don't do enhancement of the beauty they don't want to change but this is the challenge this is even more difficult it, this is harder yes, to is just to maintain and keep things yes. And uh, in, more in the Arab celebrities, they are more demanding, and they are I, they know a lot also because they love it and of they, course, they, they are have very a lot of, passionate mm -hmm. about the, what they do. And sometimes you find and you have to be ready because this is what I I uh, like about uh, them because they've been uh, treated with the best doctors all over the world. I can say they are some of them are my friends, <laughs> and then you have to be informed what is the last latest what they did and to know what you can uh, continue with them because you have to really analyze the case and when you do celebrity you're more responsible because you know, they, they live from uh, yes they are the ambassador <laughs> the as well you know it can be for good or for bad there is no mistakes and exactly. there is no anything that you should really you have to work very uh, in safely manners and you have to sometimes sometimes you have to know to say them no mm -hmm. and to limit them because if they have some events and they would like to in the, in the rush to do something you have to really limit them and to really put the limit what should yeah, be done and what should not be done yeah to be realistic and tell them and i find this this is the m most challenging part uh, on the side of the doctor is like actually how much he should do or he or she should do what's really needed or how much what the client needs to uh, to achieve and this is also the the meter or the thermometer to 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 fix that is how much they are actually looking for their best or looking for um you know the the big demand or or sometimes they because you're not, you don't want to seek for for just the return of money on this. You just want to seek what they actually suits that person, and it's a bit pressuring sometimes the, when when they demand uh, or maybe miss miss uh, or confuse you what what they need to do. Then you have to really um, uh, arguing with your knowledge in the experience. You have to convince and you have to educate the person as a patient, whoever is this, is a celebrity or any patient or housewife or your, you know, your neighborhood, whoever will come from everywhere. You have to always uh, have, uh, first of all, you have to know and to understand what they are looking for. And then you have to guide them what they have to do. Because I find myself uh, many times you have to educate the patient before to do anything. And uh, especially today we have powerful uh, machines, we have powerful technology and they are not aware about. Nowadays we have the, some lasers and they have a study done in the US. It's called Forever Young. If you do it twice a year, you can really stop your aging. And Dubai is a very dynamic city, and the people here, they have very high standards. One second, about the tell, me, tell me about this machine. <laughs> <laughs> what is this machine? And then everybody looks to, well, likes to look younger, yes, and we like to be protected from the sun. And all, everybody, I can say, likes to look beautiful, because here we have very big standard of the beauty. And, and then you have to really... Uh, convince and you have to guide your patient to and to do uh, everything the best and your your uh, standard is always uh, keep your natural beauty and in the highest level and protect your nature and your mother mm -hmm. nature and maintain this is why uh, I like my team because uh, 
my uh, my approach is uh, you can see uh, reflected all my doctors and my team behind me and we have the patient when they come to us uh, before uh, and uh, before they uh, sometimes they are lost they don't know what to do and what how to start especially in the, uh, the beginners in the aesthetic medicine but when they leave i can feel and what what they share with us this kind of the feeling is doesn't have the value we are very happy because they know exactly and they learn something and they know and they got the guidelines tomorrow they will might go to the other place but they will know what is what is the beauty of the procedures and aesthetic medicine mm. because uh, there are many as as you see in dubai there have many uh, clinics and mm. the aesthetic medicine aesthetic services are like luxury goods you go and you, you sometimes especially if you're new in dubai you don't know where to go and to buy your goods but what is important uh, always to uh, work as a hard as as a doctor be the first doctor love your patient and this feeling uh, uh, this empathy the patient will always recognize and now patient when they come to our clinic they know why we are very very different mm-hmm. than others and they always come back yes of course i mean you are actually uh, working with your body with your face and it's not something to that you can compromise uh, you know it's a lifestyle as you said it's part of like a certain lifestyle especially of course in dubai maybe in other countries of like america la or but um it's becoming also trend and and people are accepting it which is also what you said like even celebrities and beautiful uh, like miss world is still also you know, maintaining and wants to do it so it's becoming like a lifestyle of course of for the people who can afford it um in lebanon we had uh, <laughs> Lebanese loves plastic surgery a lot and it started early and uh, we had in the bank uh, you go to the bank you take a car loan or you want to have a house loan and there is a plastic surgery loan and they advertise for it <laughs> people likes it so if you can't afford they made a loan in the banks imagine that how much Lebanese loves this Yes, we have Lebanese patients. I really am aware about it. But uh, as I see, the Lebanese uh, ladies are one of the icons of the beauty here in the in, in Dubai, and they have very high standard. Uh, and I can say there is a big also influence of the non-influencers mm-hmm. coming from uh, from Lebanon or from this part of the world. And mm-hmm. this kind of the trend, especially now because of Instagram or digital media, is. There is uh, some kind of the uh, uh, vein or some uh, the, something that is, uh, let's say, um, moving uh, patient. Even they never tried something, they are encouraged to come to the, our you know, aesthetic clinics. And generally, after Corona, I can see the well-being uh, trend is all over the world, especially in Dubai. Mm. Uh, more and more we have patients, they are keen to take care of properly about the skin. More they're looking for dermatologists, for the proper advice is how to be protected from the sun, which kind of the lasers they can do, what they can do, how they can care for the longevity of the life and how to protect the skin for the to look younger for a long time, as I said, young forever. And more and more the patients are more than uh, different. Uh, what is different than before, they really listen to the doctor. When mm-hmm. they find and discover the good doctor they really listen to the doctor and this is the pleasure working in this uh, you know industry and the new time which is uh, i think now yeah yeah i, b- I believe this the trend now is m- as you mentioned is more towards uh, healthy and more uh, maintenance than for 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 your uh, body and face and rather maybe in the 90s in the 2000s and th- it was like really going extreme somehow with exaggeration and and uh, now it's becoming back to actually just becoming more natural and as as long as you can look younger for longer time it's it's not really by um like change the whole change or or you know you, they want to look like another celebrity or the, i don't know if it's still that way but uh, you feel like people wants to be more naturally uh, looking not 
exaggerated. Yes, I can say I'm I'm following all trends over the world, traveling still for the hmm. all conferences, lectures, presentations, and being consultant for many com- or many uh, companies as uh, pre- uh, presenting the, our country and or some of them I'm presenting Middle East and I'm privileged to to know what the beauty world is going through and I'm always like two three steps ahead. I can say that before it was uh, the big trends to in, to inject a lot of fillers, mm. botox, and to correct. Now the new trends is more to prevent, and this is what I was always keen to do, and always to uh, prevent for the some future and to care about skin, like to uh, preserve your skin and to uh, accommodate your skin and to be able to look younger and to be healthy for the many years. How we do that? We have the new uh, protocols, we have the new machines, we have new products like bioactive stimulating fillers, we have the exosomes, PRP, we have more natural products and ingredients that is helping us in the offices, And but you have to also know and to be aware how to do that. And what I like always to say, you, the more than that, you, know, you need to know how to mix that, how to mix your knowledge, experience, products, machinery. And this is like cooking. If you like to cook the best meal, <laughs> you have to you have to uh, have many ingredients. This is how and life, how life to, works. And how to cook it, yes. yes. <laughs> not only about ingredients. It's not only about ingredients. Mm. You have to really mix all of this if you like to have the best, you know, mm. taste and to have the best uh, and recognition from your patient. This is what I, c- I can see a patient can recognize because now they are very well informed. Informations are everywhere. They can they come to your office already prepared with the very good questions and you, you feel pleased to talk with them when you can see the patients are really keen to listen to the doctor and to th- their open mind to try and to work in the prevention not only and uh, not any anymore like only to correct something or to look differently or to you know just to do the lips and for the one event the uh, doctor you're uh, mentioning a lot about dermatology and and the skin but in general what are other uh, practices maybe plastic uh, surgery or or other uh, services you do at your clinic maybe with other doctors i i would say Yes, we have the very um, very developed plastic surgery in our clinic. We do all plastic surgery uh, services. We have some top known doctors abroad coming to Dubai. It's, I'm very proud. A friend of mine from Beverly Hills, one of them is Dr. Kan- Raj Kanoja, who is known for celebrity closed nose surgery uh, treatment. He did all almost known celebrity in the Beverly Hills. He is often in our office. And we have uh, all uh, we have doctors with the uh, latest techniques uh, doing the all kind of the body contouring uh, impl- best implants, best augmentation, uh, face uh, lifting or blepharoplasty. Absolutely, from A to Z, we have the doctors trained internationally, very known, and they are not known only in Dubai. They they all of them are. Similar like me, they are also they pre- they are presenters all over the world about techniques, and I'm very proud about my team. Great. If I wanna like ask you something first time, like it just came to my head is if you give me like a, uh, if we say ages of uh, of a person and what usually from a younger age to uh, an older age, what are the recommended procedures you would think? A person should do except then the like like a change or in a look but what are the practice that should be done let's say for younger generation from 20 to 30 years old what do you recommend for that age uh, number one is dermatology sun protection you know that they, and what they should do they should always find a good dermatologist to be aware which kind of this type of the skin they have and which kind of the skin products because skin is very simple sometimes the small things makes the big difference for you you have to know and you have to love your skin and you have to take care because the the best is a patient is patient who will take home message and to know how to do homework at mm-hmm. home in this age 
And if you have any kind of the medical problem like acne, acne scars or some pigmentation or you have open pores, you have to trust your doctor and to, to proceed with some treatments like we have very special lasers, we have very special microneedling, we have very special treatments that can be also preventative for the aging and at the same time that will have some uh, big, big impact to correct some kind of the medical problems, as I mentioned, scars. And what I like always to say, you know, work, uh, living in Dubai, we have to, uh, times to times, do some kind of the medical facial, some kind of the peelings uh, by laser. I'm very keen, uh, I'm a big lover of the lasers. Mm -hmm. And we have to always um, diminish the sun damages because younger generations, as I said, sun protection is important, but most of them, they like to have tan skin or they don't care uh, perfectly or they are prone to develop pigmentation. Sometimes in this age, due to the pregnancy, they develop some pigmentation called melasma. They can come to the clinic to be treated on the time, not to wait, the time will pass because uh, in this, uh, in this uh, way, they will prevent more, you know, uh, more developing of uh, hyperpigmentation that it, it will be more challenging to be treated after 30th. And some patients, uh, especially now men, you will not believe we have some very young patients, they go to gym, they do crossfit, they do, do weights, and they have very strong expression lines. They come to our offices and they look older. Even they are like between 20 to 30 age, we have to then uh, explain to them that Botox has preventative effect. If you start on the time, you will prevent not to have the, the deep or fixed expression lines. Mm. And more and more we are seeing those kind of patients in the offices. And in this age, uh, um, men, they have sometimes they start uh, with the first signs of uh, alopecia, losing the hair, hair loss. And then today, nowadays, they have options. They have PRP, they have Metacell. They can be treated with own exosomes to prevent and to rescue the follicles of the hair. Hmm. Then there are many options. <laughs> so it can be pre prevent to... It can be preventative. And we have a lot of products are like um, some kind of the, we call mesotherapy, some kind of the uh, injectables with the... Uh, some uh, vitamins, antioxidants. We have in this age uh, patients, cabin crew, for example, they, they look hard over the night and they have some dark circles, they are suffering, their skin looks dull, tired. There is many options as uh, treatment options that we can easily help them to be refreshed with this kind of the products. Or they can also easily come to the clinic and we can pre prevent with just exposing them to LED lights or to helping them doing some laser, proper laser, then they can go, go back home to rest and bioactive effect of laser will protect them for the faster age. Mm -hmm. uh, let's talk about trends more. Trends, you know, like n not in aesthetic. Because, oh, okay, we said that now people are more driven to for a natural, for a healthy skin. But beside that, there's a lot of trends. Like in, in the past, trends where like bigger is better maybe some areas they like to have it bigger and bigger you know different areas in the body especially in um, they get inspired uh, from different countries brazilian whatever you, you call it and um, is this still trending like also bigger lips bigger uh, boobs <laughs> 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 What's the proper term? <laughs> yeah, but you're very close to the proper term. I think the uh, Kim Kardashian and Kardashians brought to this uh, Brazilian bat, what you like okay. to ask me. Uh, yes, in our areas are still very popular, I cannot mm -hmm. say. I, I find that trends really depend sometimes of, uh, of uh, ethnicity of the patient because we have different type of the trends here in Dubai. We have nationality from everywhere in the world and you have to know how to deal and how to accept because sometimes you have the patient they really like to follow the trends and what is for them trends and beauty maybe is not in your culture hmm. but uh, you have to as i said love your patient and be to have the empathy and to guide them and to do everything with the taste and with the suitable for the body it is the rules of the doctor 
and before as you know before was the like pillow face like a lot of fillers in the cheeks on the chin jawline or especially lips one moment uh, all in dubai like that or that was uh, uh, big fun uh, everybody been fun about russian lips mm -hmm. the russian came massive <laughs> muscle in dubai but this kind of the lips cannot fix be fitted on the other feature of the face you have to really be aware and to ask your doctor what uh, and how you can enhance your beauty in the best way and today we have uh, some tools in the offices you have uh, even a software that you can show to your patient before and after how they will look like that helps a lot especially to discourage the patient to put on two or three yeah lip if fillers. it doesn't suit them yes yeah. and um, uh, nowadays patients are very keen to to look healthy this is what i really like and uh, you can see who is trendy now healthy look is a uh, healthy skin is in i can say and a healthy look and uh, now in Dubai, no days uh, we find that there is a big consumption of the uh, weight loss products like Manjaro and Zempic. Yes. That cause some uh, fat loss in the face, and the patients are coming back to our offices, being looking older and looking tired after being happy losing the weight. Then this is some kind of let's say semi medical indication that you have to really uh, in, uh, inject and to add more fat or the fillers uh, talking about fat is let's stop it just uh, because mm -hmm. this is very important uh, topic um, is it I, I know fat is much better than in injecting uh, fillers because it's maybe not permanent how how true is that and maybe fillers is like more permanent to the face uh, fat is more permanent. There is some indications that you have to really consider injecting the fat. It's the job for the plastic surgeons, and they are really. Sorry, you said fat is more permanent, or uh, fat is fat. more permanent. Yes, it's permanent. When you inject the fat, mm -hmm. uh, uh, you have the long-term solution. Uh, the fillers has the longevity of the life. If you go with the ordinary fillers, which we call uh, uh, hyaluronic acid-based fillers. They have longevity of uh, one and a half year maximum. Then uh, fat is definitely something that you can predict longer results. I, to be honest, I thought the opposite uh, because uh, people who inject fillers in their face by time, they, they look like, uh, you know, like very puffy and they cannot remove it. The one of the reason because you, once you start to inject, if you really like your result, you might be always keen to do more and more and to inject more. Some of the fillers might uh, stimulate your own production of hyaluronic acid. And then of some of the fillers, we hold this phenomenon encapsulation that can be somehow encapsulated and they can stay for longer period of the time in some places on the face. But fillers, definitely ordinary fillers based on hyaluronic acid, they have longevity. Okay. I'm not an expert, so don't look <laughs> at me. <laughs> Type cool. So the you said what's trending is now the li lipstick is lips is uh, trending. For, Lip fillers are always, always something in the, on the, demand. The, yes, the, the lips are very important for attractiveness of the face, and uh, the, this is the most easiest step to enhance your beauty. And if you don't know what to do, if you you know. Uh, in a younger age and you like to look younger and you like to look uh, uh, more attractive the lips is always uh, highly recommended to be first step jaw lines jaw lines depends if you need jaw lines we can clarify it also with uh, some uh, treatments like the lasers microneedling you can really nicely uh, uh, de define definition is very it's very popular to have the, the, the uh, very nice and defined jaw lines but we find the more men now nowadays more men they're asking about jaw lines mm -hmm. the trends change <laughs> okay okay that's nice well, we spoke about celebrities we, i've seen a lot of uh, dubai celebrities like dubai blink celebrity in your in your show brahim was uh, in your in sorry in your clinic brahim was there 
Be, and, Brahim is very special guest in the clinic yes. and now my friend and the friend of the clinic is uh, the most friendliest I think person I met <laughs> from the Blink uh, serial and he is uh, also promoter he likes to promote and he likes to post and he is very open to talk what he does because he likes to look healthy and to be fitted and he is especially keen to show uh, how he likes to uh, have the perfect body and not only you know the face and this is what I like because nowadays we have a lot of devices that really stimulate the muscles and stimulating the muscles you can really um, uh, uh, in the same time you can even control your body contouring and your body weight because muscles are the most important uh, supporter of our you know figure then uh, we have uh, very powerful devices in our clinic and mm -hmm. Ibrahim uh, somehow is ambassador of them. Oh, that's amazing. I mean, he actually, he's like, uh, after the show, he's he's looking amazing. Uh, honestly, he's changed a lot and uh, we like his look and he's a great ambassador, I, I would say, to uh, if he's the ambassador. He loves to give anyway. He loves to uh, always talk about something that he's doing. And that's I nice. like I like uh, influencers then when they are really uh, sharing what they do because uh, you have some influencers that they don't share what they actually they do they they maybe they have some uh, commercial impact behind that. I don't know I don't want to discuss about but this might makes even the problem for us doctors seeing the patient asking for something procedure that you can see that obviously pay person never did it and I really appreciate uh, the, our influencers like Ibrahim I can mention so Dania or Salama they are always uh, ready to promote and to openly talk what they really do because as I said Dubai standard is very high and to be exposed to in front of the people in front of camera and you have the powerful voice in this city and you're in the social media you have to look presentable of course you will come to to do uh, your procedures before the exposure and this is what i really like sharing the truth with the audiences um, rules of influencers yes it's uh, it's very important they encourage people to be open about uh, all these pr procedures because somehow i don't know why we are always shy to go to uh, the clinic and we're just like okay i don't want anybody to see me i'm here so it's 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 becoming more open and open people are like you know uh, especially men i would say maybe women now are more comfortable to talk about it and to say yeah i did this and that uh, but men are, are not that open about just like you know doing uh, some changes and some enhancement and uh, treatments more and more we have men in the offices in the clinics and I can I really like uh, the uh, when you can see the wife or the partner is bringing the husband or the partner or the sister is bringing brother and, and this uh, is the first step the now. wife is telling you I don't like this about my husband <laughs> let's change it uh, <laughs> No, they like actually them to, to also feel how they feel. And they like this feeling that they are happy and they like them more happy. I think this is the motivation. And the husbands will ask uh, to change anything in like, I would like this and give the opinion. And it's uh, mainly is opposite. My husband, they said, no, I'm happy. I don't know why she's doing that. <laughs> but, yeah, they're always, uh, you know, happy to, to see and to have the beautiful wife. But uh, yeah, even we can see it nowadays, we have uh, uh, like a father is coming, bringing the uh, daughters or sons, taking care about the hair loss, taking care about weight loss, taking care about uh, acne or acne scars. This makes me happy because it does mean that our clients recognize and that we are a trustable place and they, love, they trust me and they trust my team because when you bring your family member, you want for them something the best, and then you, you bring them to the best place. Radmila, um, are you happy? Um, uh, with my journey and my life in Dubai, I can say I, I, my dream comes true. Dubai was inspiration for me, and I always like to encourage and to share my story with everyone who likes to come to live in Dubai and nowadays I can see there are many clinics 
uh, everywhere in Jumira, Vasla Road, in Dubai, all over the country. And my vision was always to have Dubai like hub in the world. The, the patients will come from all over the world to be treated in our, here, in our hands. And not anymore like Beverly Hills in the US or going to Harley Street or going to some other places on the world. I want patients from all over the world to know that Dubai is a very top place in aesthetic uh, industry. And my contribution in this is uh, makes me happy and makes me happy that my uh, clinic and my Lucia vision is a, a strongly uh, Dubai brand. And one of my powerful patients said, oh, this is the place where Dubai comes for beauty. And now this is one of the, our logo where Dubai goes for beauty. And I like that slang because I, I, and I like this motto because this is what I wanted to have. I wanted to have something that not only me, that my patients and all my uh, people being with me together and all my support from the government and all my um, suppliers and everybody who opened the door of my clinic and contribute in any sense can be proud that we did it something uh, good together. Uh, you've achieved a lot. And every time, you know, I talk, you talk with passion about your business. But tell me more about you as a, as a woman. What now makes you happy beside the business, beside the clinic? You've been giving a lot. Is this something that made you, is this the only thing that you you wanted to achieve in your life? Um, actually, I find um, one of the, my most challenging things in my life was uh, being trying to be mother. And I never succeeded in that journey. And in the clinic, my, I have a lot of um, born kids from my staff, and that makes me really happy. When I can see that my staff uh, and my, they are my family, and my, they are my family members, they are the closest to me, and I mean, and they are from my business and my success, they build on happiness, having the, bringing the kids on, and in the, in the, life in Dubai and the moment we have the one child in the way uh, that makes me really I'm I didn't succeed in my journey but my my staff my my the closest people whom I'm living my life every day they did it for me and uh, having this kind of happiness seeing them happy around me makes me really happy and this like of my motivation I had very hard time in my journey as everybody even some moment I had my some health issue and I wanted to even go back forever to my country and and this moment when they call me back and my 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 employee when they say doctor we really need you not only for to work we can easily find the work but you are you are our family you are with us and I find this kind of the relation we build we are sometimes not aware how these connections are very strong and very important, how they make you happy. This is the part of your journey. And to be successful in the business, it makes you happy. You have a comfortable life. You, you did one journey. But privately, uh, having the other type of the success and uh, seeing uh, happiness around you and love around you, this is something that I can say there is no value for that. And if you ask me if I'm happy, I'm every day happy going to the clinic, seeing uh, and hugging my people working with me and get, getting from them this love. Do you think it's hard to take both in life, if, as, especially as a woman? If, if you want to be really hard work and successful, you might need to give a part of the personal life to to be a mother or to be a, a wife is that something a woman uh, is a big challenge for her it is big challenge sometimes uh, it is a really big challenge because we sacrifice our personal life for something that we think that will give us some kind of the perspective for the future we are sometimes not aware that time passed fast and 
uh, and you're not even thinking that oh my god the, the uh, now it's too late i'm late for some you know some basic things that i have to achieve in my life yes i think uh, in women world is uh, much more difficult uh, than in men world to be successful in the life and to achieve uh, success in the business and uh, success in the family we have to work i can see more than double sometimes we seek uh, success in business to maybe look for love and and to, to get the reward and this is something that will give us you know that feeling that we maybe uh, missed in the in the early um, part of our life and or we we used to be maybe maybe you said something about your father he's a big big inspiration was the love given to you basically after always succeeding or something and then we relate to love by getting the rewards uh, from success yes i got from my father i think everything what i achieved and who i am today is uh, my father did for me and from the early age he had a very big impact in my life and he always uh, uh, was uh, Uh, advising me that in the life you can lose everything you don't know as I came from the country that we had very big political impact in our normal life as I told you I lost the country where I've been born and he said nobody can uh, you know ever take from you your knowledge your education and who you are you have to be always aware and proud about yourself and to work and to to work hard to prove yourself and to love yourself and to love your family and uh, this is what i find here in dubai the love to family and respect to our fathers and you can recognize that and you can see every day that actually this kind of the love is something that give you um, power that you can really do everything as as you have in your mind and your vision that's amazing thank you for sharing uh, all these uh, emotions and thoughts uh, dr rudmila i'm uh, very proud of you honestly and of your journey and i would like to visit your uh, clinic uh, one day and um, i'm proud of you as a woman i'm proud of you as a fighter and uh, also because you have a lot of uh, belief and uh, a lot of uh, you love your your work but you make it as a as a mission you're in a mission and this is what you said it's something that you want to give uh, back to people and the success will come by nature by by you know like uh, without us you know making it successful it's just like putting the good work and things will happen for us i'm very proud of you honestly Uh, thank you for giving me a chance to to talk you know in the public about i'm always uh, very modest and i'm a person who doesn't like to share my private things in the public but my only with my very close uh, patient friends they they know my journey and we are now more than family i can say now you become one of my part and i think your audience part of my journey and i will be more than honored to invite you to be to come to the clinic and to see a journey and to uh, to feel like my patient and like my friend and i like to show you my the best thank you so much